In today's video, I'm going in today's video, I'm going to be explaining scatter plots. Now, a scatter plot is a graph of ordered pairs or points that show a relationship between two different data sets. So we have our axis and our grid already set up for us. And we're going to look at two different data sets. This is always the x-axis. And this is always the y-axis. So the first data set we're going to be looking at is going to be height versus weight. So height versus weight. And this is going to be in pounds and this is going to be in inches. And I just made this data up so we're going to start at 50 inches, 55, 60, 65, and that'll be 70 inches. And there's a skip in this data and that's notated with a squiggly line because here's your origin but then you jump up to 50 but your interval after that is 5 so 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 we're going to do another skip going this way and we're going to start at 80 pounds go to 90 100 110 120 the 130. So this side is going to be counting by fives and this side is counting by tens. So let's just plot a couple points. Say somebody in your class is 50 inches tall and they weigh about 80 pounds. Somebody else is about 55 inches and they weigh 90 pounds. Another person is 55 inches and they only weigh 85 pounds. Someone's 60 inches and they weigh 110 pounds. Another person 60 inches and they weigh 115. We'll do someone that's about 62, 62 and a half, and they're going to weigh, uh, let's make it 110. And then we'll put somebody that's about 70 and make them 130 pounds. So, as you can see on this scatter plot, the points are all moving up as you move to the right. So as you increase on the x-axis, you're also tending to increase on the y-axis. So your points are going this way. This is a positive relationship. The points suggest that the line is going to go up. So you can guess that the next height is going to give you a point up here somewhere. And that's the trend that it is. It's a positive relationship between height and weight. Let's look at another data set. This time we're going to be looking at the number of times you feed your dog. So number of times your dog is fed. Versus how many food, how much food is left in the bag. Still in bag. This is just going to be a unit and this is going to be pounds. So we'll start with 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Notice that I'm counting by 5 starting at 0. There's no skip in the data so the line is not required down here. Number of times we feed our dog, we're just going to count by 1. Two, three, four, five, six. As you increase on the x axis, you're decreasing on the y axis, so the line is trending down. So this is a negative relationship. Let's look at one more example. Say that in your classroom or at your house you took a vote and you wanted to see if age had anything to do with a person's favorite number. And this number is going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 6. So you just wanted to see 
what somebody's favorite number was, one through six. And the age will go, you tested somebody five years old, 10 years old, 15, 20, 25, and 30. So maybe you tested your little brother, and his favorite number was one. You tested somebody with 10, their favorite number was six. You tested somebody with 12, and their favorite number was three. You tested somebody that was 15, their favorite number was four, and so on and so forth. So you just test a bunch of random people. As you can see, as x increases, there is not any, any correlation or any relationship with y. Here you're getting greater, then you jump up really high, but then you go back down, then you go up again, and then you go down again, and then up again, down, and then you keep going down. So this would be no relationship. And that's usually just where the points seem to be random.